I förra avsnittet av Ocean Avenue. Now you believe that Anne Devon may have been murdered by the serial killer? Yes. I'm sure she was. How can you be so sure, detective? Because Anne Devon had a red scarf wrapped around her neck. Same as all the other murdered women. So you believe now that Anne Devon was murdered by the serial killer? Yes. I do, based on the red scarf. That's the serial killer's signature. God, Dee, she ruined somebody's life. I mean, totally ruined it. I hope she never shows her face here until she's ready to fess up. Lindy Maddox. Cute kid. Too bad. Can do that? All he has to do is show that the scarf that was wrapped around Anne's neck is the same one she was wearing the night of the party. You know, the fact that it was double knotted, which is the serial killer's M.O., is not going to hold water here unless we can establish something else. So what you're saying is it's not looking too good. Everything they have is circumstantial, Martin. But all the DA has to prove to get a trial is that a jury could possibly find you guilty. He's already done that. Unfortunately, that letter was the most damaging piece of evidence. It establishes motive. Now, if we can just place you somewhere else at the time of the murder, or even have one witness who saw you. Well, we can't, can we? I, 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 I'm sorry, Michael. I... So now what? So Detective O'Keefe's testimony bought us some time, at least until tomorrow. I'll see what else I can dig up. Okay. I think I might be able to help with that. Yeah, man, I'll meet up with you at the courts later. Maybe we can swing on by and start doing that music video you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, just remember, you got the sound, I got the faith, all right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, can I call you later? There's someone at my door. All right. All right, later. Where the hell have you been? I've been calling you since yesterday. Around. Around? What the hell does that mean? Are you gonna stand there and yell at me, or can I come in? Jag säger bara för mig min spindel. Jag vet Alex. Det kanske är enda sättet att få reda på vem som dödade Stefan. Jag vet. Jag har verkligen försökt komma ihåg mer, men det är så frustrerande. Men du kan ju inte tvinga dig själv att komma ihåg mer. 
Minnet kommer tillbaka till snog. Du måste ha tålamod. Jag vill bara att det här jävla åsen ska åka fast. Jag vet det, det vill jag med. De vill inte berätta för någon att du får tillbaka minnet. Jo, för Will har berättat. Vad då? För den som dödar din pappa finns fortfarande på fri fot. Jag vill inte att de ska veta att du börjar minnas saker och ting. Snälla Alex. Lova mig att du inte berättar för någon. Lova. Okej. Okay. Jag tror inte det är fara för mig. Den som sköt pappa måste jag antagit att jag var medvetslös. Annars skulle de ha kommit efter mig i det här laget. Ja, kanske. Men vi vill inte ge dem en anledning att misstänka att du vet någonting. Oro dig inte, Charlotta. Jag är klar med. Jag är orolig. Men du och Chris är alltid kvar. Och Will också. Jag får komma härifrån imorgon. Så är det. Det är jättekul, ja. Det ska bli så skönt att få börja jobba igen. Fundraiserbollen är redan nästa vecka. Och då ska du gå till Will, va? Nej. Nej, det ska jag inte. I think I know a way to shake our people up and get Deep Throat to surface. How's that? Jazz's black book. It will ruffle some feathers. But you don't have the book. They don't know that. Only Deep Throat knows. He has to because he knew about Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, last night I got another message. I didn't call it that. It was a baby crying. He's trying to tell me something. Jazz's kid? Yep, I gotta find the birth record. Somebody could have buried it. Well, why would they do that? I mean, think about the logical conclusion of this. What's the point of dredging up Jazz's murder? It's got to be the kid. I mean, he wants to know who killed his mother. So now he's offing hookers? Exactly. He's a nutcase. He's cleansing himself. He, he, he's doing to them what he would have done to her. What somebody did to her. Yeah, that's the direction we're heading in. Lucas, why don't you just bring it all out in the open? Can't be serious. I think Martin deserves to know the truth. Come on, Gabby, you heard him yesterday. He's gonna believe whatever he wants to. It's whatever makes me look the worst. So why don't we set the record straight once and for all? I can't do that. Why not? Because, but don't you get it? No matter what my father thinks about me, I just can't do that to him. I'd kill him. And what about you? You're just gonna tell one lie after the next? I mean, you really don't think it's gonna stop here, do you? Sophomore year, you guys beat Central. Yeah. Five seconds left on the clock. T passed you the ball and... and swoosh. <laughs> it's like this baby had wings and just flew right across the court into that basket. The sweet smell of victory. Why do you think things were so much easier than Dylan? Maybe that's just the way it seems right now. That's all. Yeah, like walking across a hot bed of coals wouldn't be a better option. Why haven't you answered your cell phone? Oh, I lost my purse last night. 
but I just got a call from the police department a little bit ago, so. Where'd you lose it? Someplace outside Liquid. Why were you there? Yeah, like, you don't sound like my mother right now. Hey, I'm just asking. I just dropped by for a little bit. No biggie. Hmm. Look, don't lay into me like Lisa. I mean, she must be premenopausal or something. She does not let up. Come on, Lindy. You don't think your mom should be worried sick? She can't make me go back to school. I'm never going to that place again, Dylan. I'd forgotten all about this. And when I first read it, I thought it'd be damaging. And after I reread it, I realized it could actually clear Martin. So it looks like Roberto was behind us all along. Yeah, that's what it's looking like to me. So Roberto tried to steal the Millennia formula five years ago. He was out to destroy Devon. He knew I had everything riding on Millennia. But Stefan turned him down. So he did the next best thing, tried to take over my company. Yeah, apparently, Roberto had a mole in his organization who tipped off Stefan. <laughs> That's how I was able to put his butt in prison. Did you know that he tried to approach Stefan again before he was released from prison? No, I had, I had no idea until Will showed me the letter. Stefan and I were having problems with production. So I guess Roberto found out somehow and figured this was the right time to strike again. Now, according to this, Stefan made an agreement with him and then tried to back out. Yeah, right before Bobby's accident. The bastard came to my home the night of the funeral. so blind as not to figure out what he was doing. This could all be about payback. Lucas was in that car, too. He wanted to wipe out my entire family. And then DevTech explodes. Then Anne. Anne. That should have really opened my eyes. That was the most obvious clue of all, gentlemen. Anne, how? A wife for a wife. Why should I not go into my will? I've worked together for a few months. But Alex, I don't want to go into it. Har ni bråkat, eller? Nej, men ibland så är inte folk de som de utgör sig för vara. Men Will, han är ju ärligheten själv. Ja, det trodde jag också, Anna, tills jag insåg motsatsen. Vadå? Alex, jag vet att du respekterar och beundrar Will. Charlotta, han satt bredvid min mamma när hon dog. Han var pappas bästa vän. en del av familjen. Min pappa litade på honom ända in i slutet. Han var den enda som visste om att pappa levde. Jag tror att, tror att pappa skulle lagt sitt liv i händerna på någon som man inte kunde lita på. Men jag kanske har en annan erfarenhet av Will. Will är schysst. Han kanske har råkat göra något klantigt som har gjort dig upprörd, men han skulle aldrig göra någonting för att såra dig. Nej, men det har han gjort. Då får du väl ge honom en till chans. Jag vet att han inte menar det. Alex, jag uppskattar verkligen vad jag försöker göra, men jag vill inte prata om honom mer, okej? Okej. Okej. Jag tror att du har fel om honom. Det blir skönt att du kommer hem i alla fall. Tack. Jag 
ska jag göra då? Jag tänkte jag skulle sticka upp till Dylans. Mm. Vi ska starta ett band, så är det. Nej, <laughs> vad kul. Ja, men då kan ni väl spela för mig när jag kommer härifrån. Det kommer inte riktigt låta som André på Kjell är rädd. Nej, men jag kan stå ut ändå, ska jag säga. Alex kom ihåg vad jag sa med minnet. Vadå? <laughs> Hopplöst det. Kom ihåg vad jag sa om Will. Stick. Gabby, I guess we just see things differently. Well, there's got to be a certain point where you stick up for yourself. Well, this isn't that point. It's just... It's not just about my dad, either. I know. I know how close you were to Bobby. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about. I mean, I don't talk about it, but... There's a part of me inside that's never going to be okay. You don't think I understand that? I mean, first my father, and now my mother. I mean, she really disappointed me. Look, Crystal said something a while ago, and I think she was right. About what? She said you need to be prepared to accept the fact that the people you love may not be as perfect as you hope they could be. Gabby. There was a shocking revelation today in the Devon murder trial. Listen. In an unexpected twist, defense attorney Michael Layden put Miami detective Thomas O'Keefe on the stand earlier today. Detective O'Keefe stunned the court when he testified he believed that Ann Devon was murdered by the serial killer who has been targeting hookers in the South Beach area. What? Det är så himla tidigt i morse. Det här är för att jag ville kolla hur Lukas mådde. Jag ville se till så att han mådde bra. Mm. Så vad är det på gång med Lukas egentligen? Jag är tokkär av honom. Ser ni inte det? Jo. <laughs> är inte han ihop med Gabby? Nej, han är inte ihop med Gabby här mot henne. Och dessutom så är hennes ex-fiancé i stan för rättegången, så hon har honom bo i hennes lägenhet, så jag stannar där och ska locka henne. Hur går det med rättegången? Lukas är helt förstörd. Vilket inte är så himla konstigt med tanke på hur Gabby står i båset. Jag tror inte att hans pappa kommer kontakta honom efter det här. Det är inte så bra. Nej, det är inte speciellt bra. Hon är... Åh, oh, det är så irriterad. Hon fattar inte vad han behöver. Hon är inget bra för honom. Jag vill att han ska inse det. Ja, oh, förlåt. Håll samma. Vet du vad? Jag kommer inte att behöva vittna. Om vad då? Om någonting som händer i Stockholm. Vad har det med Martin Devons rättegång att göra? Kanske en hel del. Michael. Thank you. You're a good man. Turn this thing around yet. Will. Thanks for coming forward with that document. Hey, I'll do anything I can to help. All right. I'll see you in court. I've got a feeling there's going to be some ugly things coming out tomorrow. Look, Martin, there's something we need to talk about. 
maybe it's not important, but... Sure, what is it? On the night of the party, I was walking from the monastery gardens. I got some dirt on my shoes. Charlotte was nice enough to point it out to me when I was inside. And I, I headed back outside, started scraping the mud off the shoe. And I heard some raised voices coming towards me. So I stopped and, and went back inside. Do you know who it was? And it was definitely women's voices. And I'm certain one of them was Anne's. <sighs> Well, that's not much to go on. No, I, I know. And I don't even know where I'm, I'm heading here. It was not long after that. Yeah? This probably isn't anything. But I saw Catherine running in from outside, and she was out of breath. Catherine? And I was talking to her, and I noticed something. She had brambles on the hem of her dress. Well, the only place in the estate where there are brambles is Arm of the Seawall. Did Jazz ever mention Terry Martin? No. Why? Well, Terry Martin told me that she was models with Jazz when they were in New York. No, uh, Jazz was never in New York. What if it's okay? It happened to me with Mama. Can you tell me? No, I don't want to tell you for you, because I don't think you're ready to hear it, okay? Chris, you're not a shit, unge. Spotta ut det. Okej. Pappa var aldrig otrogen mot mamma. 